Matthew, I put all these lights on and we still um, got affected by the dark out uh, the light outside. So anyway, you're in. Very much so. So Matthew and I are going to start making lunch now. We're cooking rissoles and um, Matthew arrived here with Siona as his companion in the in the taxi, in, not in the taxi, in the um, in the bus. So now we're going to um, cook some food. I shouldn't um so much when I'm videoing. Okay. <coughs> so if, you have, if you have big things in the pieces in the crystals, Matthew, they don't stay together as well as if you um, have smaller pieces. So that's what we want to do here. We'll make the, the bits as small as possible. And then we'll have to clean up the food processor the, to do your your lunch when it's ready, Matthew. So just chop this. Our first ingredient for the rissoles is the onions and onion and carrot. those up later and get ready for your next stage with you. Okay, there's some mince. We need an egg. Egg helps it to bind, Matthew. Where's the egg? Lots of flavourings, don't we? Make them taste good. So let's have our beef stock cube and mm. 
Okay, so we'll have some ginger. And some coriander. These are semi-dried herbs, Matthew, and they seem to do better than the, um, that's okay, some, some garlic. I have rissoles without garlic, that's ginger, that's coriander, chives, basil, chilli, we'll have a little bit of chilli just to flavour it. And then we'll have the stock cube. And some salt and pepper, Would I think. Like to um, you, you could, you could turn them down a bit, yes. I'll just check this one off if you like, see what happens. Yep. How's that? Yep, I think we've still got enough light, Matthew, for the video. Are you shooting film at the moment? I am. Wow, that would be good. Oh, well, then we can have the lights on. It's all right, I, I think it's enough. Oh, okay. When is there too much light, eh, hey, Matt? Right. So we've got lots of nice herbs. Probably what you want are the, the kitchen lights.
noch nicht. Okay. So let's see if I can turn these over without them falling apart. That will be the tricky part. bad news is they are falling apart a bit, Matthew. So I think I'll leave the lid off, even though that's good for cooking. Um, so, um, what we'll do is, with the, uh, potatoes, I think, um, what should we do with them? Let me see. It's quarter to twelve. Um, three potatoes. Just try and think of a good way to cook them, Matthew. I don't think we'll bake them because that would take a long time. So what we could do is we could cook those in the microwave and then we could do some mixed veggies in the microwave. So let's do that. Okay, so we're back on film. Um, Take these out, they won't be cooked yet, Matthew, but let's have a go. Get the potatoes in. Uh-uh. Very absent minded mother. I think those will need at least five as well, Matthew. Now then, what do we need? We need spoons for Matthew. Spoons for Mum and Dad. Forks and knives for Mum and Dad as well. Okay, so we're setting the table. Get my camera stuff out of the way, Matthew. have a drink after lunch or you can have some um, have a little bit of pink chocolate cake and then um, have your sweets okay okay so just, that tells me when I where I have to cut the film Matthew by doing that Yeah, well, we do have to wait for those to be ready. So, 
everyone. So we're still waiting for the potatoes to be cooked and we're waiting on the rissoles, which will take a little bit longer, I think. It makes them softer, um, having the lid down, Matthew, but it does also mean they'll cook through completely. We don't want pink meat, do we? <laughs> Definitely not. So Matthew's watching the microwave, and I'm going to go and get some towels in. Okay, so that one went pink. Let's see. <coughs> we need to see if they're cooked, don't we, Matthew?
Well, it's coming along very well, thank you. Because we've still got, we need to finish off the potatoes and then we need to put the other veggies in as well. Just some more cookies. Mm, the gravy's looking nice. Ginger beer for mum and dad? No ginger beer for Matthew? Mocker though afterwards. No, it's going too dark, Matthew. Let's switch it off. Okay, so we'll fold those towels while we're waiting, Matthew. So we're going to have, I think unfortunately we're going to have a slightly tilted video. But you just have, what you have to do when you're watching tilted video, what do you do when you watch it? You, is you just put your head on the side a bit and make it come upright, that's what you do. And I might be able to fix it up, Matthew, but I'm processing. See, you don't make any promises. You have to give him a nice strong yell, my Matthew. It's gone all dark again, hasn't it? Nice big yell. Did he yell louder than that? I, I don't think he heard Matthew. I think you have to yell louder than that. <laughs> Try to get it out, aren't you? Mm -hmm. to yell and he can't get the yell out loud enough. So um, I was helping. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. That's the ginger
Okay, so now we're making Matthew's coffee. We've got a cold smoker. So you put in the jug. And then we have his thickener. <laughs> and we also need a spoon of powdered milk. Mum and Dad don't have full cream powdered milk, do they, Matthew? So, that's need. Oh, I mean, we don't have full cream milk, so you need full cream powdered milk. Yep. There we are. So, we're making 200 mils. Give or take a meal. where it smells really beautiful, Matthew, and it's lovely and hot like that. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so now we need to thicken up. beginning again. So we need to get this stirred up so it goes nice and thick and dissolves properly. See Matthew, it's all gone all dark. Just turn it around a bit. Mm. Okay, so Matthew likes this mug, which is red in the middle. Is it a bit hot? No, we'll just let it cool down a bit then, shall we? There we are. We can put the rissoles away. Chance to cool down a bit. in here Matthew in these two containers I'll get some more non-stick paper Then 
more baking paper. Okay, Matthew, so this is the second one. It's a bit bigger. The top of that is a bit low, isn't it? But it seems to be enough. I think it'd be enough, yeah. And it's raised up, so it's actually higher. You just have to get this one perfectly on the corners, Matthew. It has to be in the right spot, otherwise it won't work. No? That's right, so that can't be right. Mm. And you've got your paper sticking out. Mm. It's just the last one won't go. Oh no, it went as well. Okay, in the fridge, Matthew. Into the fridge. Into the fridge. That's right. So, don't have any spare fridge space, Matthew, that we can put. Uh, it's like it just needs tidying, Matthew. It's not that it, our fridge is so full. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, spring gando and spring gando. There we are. Oh no, I think have a rest. I'm just going to tidy up first. Okay. So, we're just going to show how to use Face ID on Matthew's phone. So, switch it off. Okay, it's come up again. So, we swipe up. And it recognises your face. And it opens. It's pretty clever. Did it so fast. Everyone has got... Okay, everyone's on rest now, so we have to have our rest. <coughs> and you're allowed to snore, okay? Mm. <laughs> okay. And then later, when we get up, we'll all do spring gender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's coming up. So... Okay, so... <coughs> we're closing out. <coughs> you have to close your eyes and pretend to be asleep. First of all, I have to take this finger mm. and turn it on. Mm. That gets the power on. Then I select the program. I press this button here. And we have 30, 30 minutes. That should be enough time to wash everything. Yes, I, I can see Matthew agrees. So now we bring the man into position. Will you come, sir? Will you come, sir, and 
Press the button. I believe this is your special pose. Okay. So you are ready. All right. So first of all, we need to turn machine and around. Here we go. Machine and turn. Machine turning around. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. And. And around we go. That's right. Here we are. And now we come back. Come back, my friend. Here we go. Coming into position. Coming into position. Here we go. All right. Hand ready. Hand ready. And oh yes, this man is ready. And hand up. Up comes the hand. Let's just get you out a little bit so that you can move it. That's it. Hand up and hand up and onto the button. Just a little bit more. Here we are. Button. Okay. There we are. Some more dishes to be done. Matthew says that he, when he wants to ring mum and dad, he'll cross his legs four times. So that's one, two, need three and four, Matthew. So three and four. That means you want to ring mum and dad. That's how the staff will know. Well, we're just waiting for the pips, Matthew. <laughs> It's 2.59, Matthew. We can't hear it very well, Stephen. We're on. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Uh, what we have here is uh, a new robot. A new robot. We're calling him the Black Robot, <laughs> or BR for short. And it's otherwise known as a, a shredding machine. And Matthew is helping very much with this. So, uh, in order for it to work, I put into BR, Black Robot, BR, and put in just a few papers of uh, we shredded. These are private documents that uh, would be uh, best shredded. And then we close the lid and you can see the BR automatically will take over and shred these papers. It makes quite a nice crunchy sound as you can hear. Fair. So. And Matthew has been assisting with this process. You've been enjoying that haven't you Matthew? Watching the 
shredding happening. Woo. Here we are. It takes a little while to go through those uh, 25 papers. And we hope that we don't overheat the machine because BR has been working now on and off for about 15 minutes. But we try to build in a little bit of a rest period between sessions so that the red overheating light doesn't come on. The red overheating light is this one here. So we've got the blue light which tells us that the power is on. But we can also hear the sound because it's making a lovely crunchy sound. Now any moment now the sound will stop. Yeah. Right, and then we can empty the bin. We just wait a moment or two. It's taking its time, and now it's come to an end. And if we open up, we see that all the papers are gone. We can pull the tray out like this. And so we need from time to time to put the shredded paper into the bag. Mm. It's quite an easy, a simple process. You just bend down. This assumes that one hasn't got a stiff back and uh, has no spring gento properties. You bend down and take out all the shredded paper, put it into the, into the rubbish bag, which will go into the rubbish later. Then you put the tray back in and close the lids no, uh, yes, close the lid and it will just do a little uh, re-initialising. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Then I take some more of these private papers which need to be shredded, open up the lid, and uh, with Matthew, put it in, mm. go Matthew. Okay, here we go. And wait now, mm. and close the lid. There we are. Going well, and we have... Camera run. off. We haven't got the red light on yet. We're on. And now we have the red light flashing which shows that uh, it's overheated and so we can't do any more shredding now until the red light goes out and that might take about 20 minutes. So it's just as well that we've um, had such a, a fruitful time up to this moment. And Matthew has uh, supervised uh, I would say at least 165 sheets of confidential papers. Uh, not from WikiLeaks, I must confess. These are just from our private collection. And I don't think WikiLeaks would be interested in these papers. And nothing's been redacted. So I just use a few of the current terms that are banded about in the media. So Matthew, you are a, uh, a willing player in this, but I don't think there'll be any ramifications for your conduct. Siona! Hello, you'll have to be in the, you'll have to be in the movie. <laughs> Hello, how are you going? Wow, we weren't, weren't quite sure when you'd get here, so... Really, really excited to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the whole okay. ride here. <laughs> Just screaming. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so... Susan, I'll just bring the band back in. Sure. The band. Okay. Yeah, so we can enjoy being out in the garden here. He's, he's just going to fix up the van, Fiona. Stephen, come on out. Yeah. So you'll have to Fiona, you'll have to be in the home movie now. So when, when we do the home movie um, this one, you'll be in it, okay? <laughs> there we are. Choke here, but I think it's just the excitement. Here we are, we can hear Siona. Matthew's coming.
There she goes. Up into the bus. That a girl. Whoa, I think it's, I think it's, ah, oh, it's sort of caught there, yeah. <laughs> and here comes Matthew. as well as Fiona and then we've got Matthew boarding at the rear. There he comes. Golly Matthew you make the bus go backwards. <laughs> He's so heavy. Bye-bye.